Hello everyone, so in this video uh, we'll see how to do variance component analysis and EMP gauge RNR analysis on the uh, EMP based MSA in order to understand the uh, different types of variations that are occurring uh, in the uh, sample setup data on which the MSA is being performed on. So here I'm taking the same set of examples that I used in my previous videos where uh, I have film thickness uh, that was obtained by spin casting. Uh, these are the different film thicknesses and uh, the measurements were conducted by uh, three different inspectors and uh, two repeats for uh, each part and 10 different samples were measured. So now to open the, uh, to perform the variance component analysis, you perform first the uh, MSA method, MSA using the EMP method. So to do that, you go to analyze quality and process, uh, and then uh, you go to measurement system analysis. You add film thickness, the variable of interest as Y response, and then you add inspector as X grouping. And then you add part as part or sample ID. And then under MSA method, make sure it's EMP. And then you say, okay. So here by default, you can see that the average chart and the range chart has been plotted. And now from the average chart, you can see that most of the points for each of the inspectors, they are within the control limits. This means that uh, the measurement system is not capable of differentiating the difference between these parts and this definitely needs improvement. Now to understand why we are seeing this variation and what are the components that are contributing to this variation, you perform variance components analysis. You can do this by the red triangle option uh, here and then saying variance components. So now here you can see in the variance components table that the variation due to interaction be, uh, due to the different inspectors is zero. The variation due to parts is zero because we have only one part, uh, but different film thicknesses. And then the variation due to inspector and part is 41.9%. And the variation due to within, uh, or uh, when you say within, it means the repeatability uh, variation is around 58.1%. Also, in order to uh, you can also perform the traditional gauge R and R uh, analysis to know the uh, different types of components that are contributing to this variation. Again, from the red triangle option here and choosing EMP gauge R and R results. In the EMP gauge R and R results, you can see that uh, it clearly differentiates between the repeatability and reprodu reproducibility. Uh, uh, and repro by reproducibility, it means the variation that is occurring for the same part, but between uh, two different uh, uh, inspectors. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, 